Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful uh, ball joint in Fusion 360. So this is the this is a very common example of the joints which 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 we can see in joysticks. So uh, let's get started. So just go to new design and we will start by you know we will start making the uh, a spear. Then we are going to make it hollow. And then I'm going to place another spear in it and then we are going to give them joint relationship as ball joints. So basically um, there are no dimensions. I have assumed all the dimension. So for that just go to create and click on a spear. Click on any plane you want. Okay, it doesn't matter. And right from the origin uh, let's start with the dia of suppose that 100 mm and the body would be new component and press OK. Don't forget to press shift n to toggle the color assembly so it will automatically assign the color now what i'm going to do uh, just on the side plane i'm going to draw a rectangle like this and from the very bottom i'm going to give it a dimension of 35 i think would be okay and then just extrude it like this direction symmetric and press ok now go to shell select this fail the thickness would be the direction would be inside i'm going to hollow it from inside with a thickness of 3 mm and press enter now once done as a new component i am going to make another spear in between it so for that just click on the front plane and from the origin this time the dia the remember the dia of the uh, the green spear was uh, 100 mm and as you guys can see the i have given the thickness 3 mm to 3 mm plus 3 mm this side and 3 mm this side which means 6 mm so the dia should be uh, 6 mm less than the outer dia of the circle so let's uh, make it uh, suppose that 92 yeah i think 92 94 i think 92 um, uh, this will give some clearance also it's up to you you can also provide a 94 and click on new component and press ok now again click on create a sketch on top plane draw a circle from very origin point of 10 mm dia and press enter and extrude it the distance would uh, operation would be join I'm going to make a handle that will be required to rotate this and press ok now again go to create go to spear on top of uh, select spear select this plane and from this point draw a spear of let's suppose 15 mm and the operation would be join make it 20 let's this too small and 20 now once done you can see that it's a complete they both are completely different component they are not joined now so just revert back their position or you can just place it here like this also so now i'm going to just give some fillet just to show uh, just to provide a more detailing view uh, one fillet here also like this yeah now this portion is going to be grounded because it, it will not be allowed to move and the yellow will be placed inside it to provide a, a ball joint so first of all just right click on the green component and click on grounded now it's grounded i i'm not able to move this as you guys can see it is still movable now i'm going to place joint and capture the position now the joint type will be ball joint the, it is asking for the first component to so select the spare and the second component you guys can select inner or the or the outer face the center is, will remain the same so for the this one and you don't have to do anything just simply press ok now if you guys can see I am able to move this uh, in any desired direction <coughs> that I want any direction that I want but the the problem is that if I just try to move it more downward, it will get intersected with the green body. So the solution for this is to enable the contact sets. As go to assembly, 
click enable contact sets for for those viewers who don't know what contact sets do uh, and and you haven't watched my previous video on the contact sets basically what contact sets do is it creates a link between do, those two component and avoid their intersection basically once i have given the contact set between the yellow and the green one they both will act as a solid body as they are in their real world so when i uh, when it will try to intersect with the green one it will automatically be stopped so for that just uh, you, you now after enabling from assembly uh, the tree you guys can see the option for contact sets in the tree so right click on it and click new contact sets now it will ask you about the body or the component between which you want the contact sets to be enabled so the click on the yellow one and the green one and simply press ok now we are done so just hide the sketch now let's see if i just try to move this uh, it will automatically be uh, is, is it's getting stopped at the right right here where the radius begins because this is the first part that is going to be intersected with the green component so this uh, concludes our today's video on how to make the ball joint in fusion 360 so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day